All right, you guys, this is Ross. We got some melons to talk about. I actually did an episode of Fruit Talk here. You can see the, the scraps left from uh, the episode. We had tasted our tomatoes, some peaches, figs, very sad plums, and of course our melons. We talked about other things, but uh, it's worth checking out. And I have three different melon varieties here, which we're honestly not very good. Um, just again, not very sweet. That's the problems we've been having with growing melons here. I don't know what it is. I always thought after last year that it was a lack of sunlight. That lack of sunlight is not producing enough photosynthesis and then pumping the photosynthesis, that sugars, into the fruits. And therefore, they're not very sweet. Uh, we have an Alvaro melon which is this guy right here. Very juicy, really nicely well ripened. It's a cantaloupe. As you can see from the bottom, it's nice and uh, smooth like a pumpkin. Whereas this other one here is a passport, which I will not have any more melons from this year. Very impressive looking melon. Green on the inside, the skin is golden, beautiful, but it has really bad wilt. And uh, so the wilt is affecting the, the plants now. Um, it's not even August. We had a lot of rain come in, a couple storms, and all that moisture in this dense area was enough to make things get wilt, I think. Uh, also, the cucumber beetles are here, and it, I think with the help of these cucumbers themselves, something wasn't, uh, wasn't good. So I've been trying my best to uh, alleviate the symptoms, kind of delay everything, but it is what it is. So I've tasted both of them. They're quite fragrant, these Alvaro and uh, the Passport Musk Melon. Alvaro is a cantaloupe, by the way. I, think I may have mentioned that. It's a Sharon Tay type cantaloupe. But we have one little guy here and I'm hoping this is going to make the video because this is an unknown. I don't know what this is. The tag there broke and I don't know the name of it. It's a musk melon, small. Oh, this looks real good, guys. Green flesh. A lot of juice in there. Ooh, it's just seeping out. Cut myself a little slice of this. I can find the name of this easy, but off the top of my head, I don't know what it is. I have to look at what I grew and then compare. All right, let's try this. Hopefully it's impressive, because if it is, then I'll really want to know its name. I'm sure you guys will want to know its name. It's just a struggle growing them here, and I think what might have to happen is that I have to grow melons in more sunlight. This is the sunniest, warmest spot of my yard. It can't get any better than this. So if I'm gonna grow melons at high quality, I have to grow them at a different location. Let's try it. Believe it or not, it's overdone. Huh. It is very much so overdone. The flesh is like mush. I haven't had a melon like that before. Is this just characteristic of this melon? I seriously doubt it. It's not even that sweet either. So this is the weirdest melon I've ever had. Texture is way, 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 way different. Mushy. Not really firm. I think it's overdone. Yeah, the juice is not even sweet. I think it's just uh, somehow I messed that one up. There's another one down here. The same plant. Oh, this one came right off. Okay, so that one was just way overdone. I think that's just the case. 
This one's less ripe. Came right off. This looks better. Yeah, the flesh is definitely firm on this one. Mm. Much better, but still not sweet. So that's the story, guys. I don't know what to say. Um, this, I think, is as early as you're going to get. I'm not even in August. I probably could have ripened some if I did this really, really well. Maybe I could see some melons ripening by July 15th, maybe a little earlier. But we're at the end of July. It's not even August yet. This is the perfect time, you would think, to be ripening melons here and they're just not sweet. So I think the only explanation is just there isn't enough sun. They just don't get enough hours of sunlight. I really did think that growing them vertically like this would really help get them more sun. Obviously it does. We will see because some of them may, obviously there's many plants in here. Some of them are, they're not all gonna be like this, I'm sure. We may also have to wait a little bit down the road. I don't know. I'm not giving up any hope just yet, but I'm starting to think that, guys, is that that's the case. But we'll see you guys soon, all right? If you enjoyed this one, let me know. If you're struggling as well with your melons as I've been for like four years <laughs> and you don't have more than eight hours of light, let me know down in the comments. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Take care.